One Small Step Can Change Your Life Summary What's the story of One Small Step Can Change Your Life? Embark on a journey of personal development with One Small Step Can Change Your Life, 2004, a practical and inspiring self-help guide. Rooted in the transformative concept of Kaizen, the philosophy of change through small, incremental steps, this book presents a myriad of straightforward techniques. These methods are designed to empower individuals, offering the means to enhance their lives and instigate lasting changes, all achieved through the simplicity of one small step at a time. Who's the author of One Small Step Can Change Your Life? Meet Robert Maurer, a distinguished clinical psychologist at UCLA and the University of Washington School of Medicine. With a passion for sharing the principles of Kaizen, Maurer not only authored this impactful book, but also conducts regular lectures and seminars on the subject. As a testament to his expertise in personal development, Maurer has further contributed to the field with works like The Spirit of Kaizen and Mastering Fear. Join the journey of self-improvement with this insightful guide and discover the profound impact of embracing change through small, intentional steps. Whose one small step can change your life summary for anyone fascinated by the dynamics of personal development. And for those wishing to learn how to maximize their power to their greatest benefit, why read One Small Step Can Change Your Life Summary. Ever found yourself grappling with the challenges of change, whether it's adopting a healthier lifestyle, committing to regular exercise, or managing your finances wisely? If so, you're not alone. Most of us have been there, New Year's resolutions abandoned, business strategies fizzling out within the first month and exercise routines fading away after the novelty of new running shoes wears off. But fear not, because Dr. Robert Maurer, an insightful author and psychologist, introduces us to a simple yet powerful approach to making lasting changes. Drawing inspiration from the Japanese concept of Kaizen, or continuous improvement, Dr. Maurer unveils straightforward strategies that you can immediately apply to any area of your life. In the wise words of philosopher Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles must begin with the first step. This encapsulates the essence of Kaizen, the philosophy that underscores Dr. Mora's teachings. In this summary, we'll delve into Dr. Mora's book, One Small Step Can Change Your Life, The Kaizen Way. Together, we'll explore how to take that crucial first step on your personal journey and witness the transformative power it holds to change your life for the better. Ready to embrace the wisdom of Kaizen? Let's dive into the pages of Dr. Mora's insightful guide and kickstart your journey of positive transformation. In this summary you'll learn The power of repetitive questions How the mind sculpture exercise can help with facing challenges And also tips for creating lasting habits One small step can change your life lessons 1. Start small Chapter 1 of Dr. Robert Mora's enlightening book introduces us to a revolutionary concept. Making changes in our lives can be surprisingly easy, and all it takes is embracing the philosophy of Kaizen. Let's dive into the key idea of this chapter, highlighting the transformative potential of taking small steps. Imagine wanting to make a change in your life, it could be adopting a healthier diet, setting aside some savings each month, or breaking free from a bad habit. You've probably experienced the struggle firsthand, even with the best intentions, sticking to resolutions can be a daunting task. The average person, as Dr. Maurer points out, may make the same New Year's resolution for a decade and still find themselves falling short. Enter Kaizen, a concept of continuous improvement that Dr. Maurer suggests as the key to making positive changes with ease. Unlike the common cycle of resolutions and failures, Kaizen focuses on the power of small steps. It's not just a business strategy, it's a life strategy, applicable to anyone seeking a healthier and happier lifestyle. Dr. Maurer, experienced in guiding individuals from all walks of life, recommends six different ways to incorporate Kaizen into your daily routine. The beauty of these techniques lies in their individual effectiveness, you can choose the one that resonates most with you and start implementing it right away. Ever wondered why small steps are so effective? Dr. Maurer unravels the science behind Kaizen, describing it as a clever hack that bypasses our biological instincts. The human brain, wired to resist sudden changes, often perceives them as threats, triggering the fight-or-flight response in the amygdala. Kaizen, however, offers a way to trick the brain. By making gradual changes, 
You can navigate past the amygdala's alarm bells, making the process of change feel less intimidating. So, in essence, Kaizen becomes a guide to outsmarting your own brain, making the journey of personal development smoother and more attainable. Stay tuned as we explore the six practical ways to incorporate Kaizen into your life, each step bringing you closer to positive and lasting change. Onwards. 2. Ask Small Questions. Chapter 2 of Dr. Robert Mora's insightful book unveils a powerful strategy for initiating change, the art of asking small questions. Let's delve into this key idea and explore how posing tiny queries can lay the groundwork for significant transformations in your life. Imagine facing a formidable task, such as starting a major creative project or tackling credit card debt. Dr. Maurer draws inspiration from renowned author Michael Ondatia, who, when confronted with a blank page, initiates his writing process by asking small questions. These questions aren't grand or complex, but rather focused on specific details, like the characters in a scene or the setting of a story. This approach isn't exclusive to novelists, it's a technique that can benefit anyone striving to make a change. Whether you're dealing with financial challenges or embarking on a creative endeavor, start by asking yourself a small question related to the change you want to achieve. For instance, if you're tackling credit card debt, ponder, what can I do in five minutes today to reduce my debt? Our brains may resist change, but they have a soft spot for questions. Dr. Maurer emphasizes the importance of choosing small, manageable questions that engage the brain without triggering the fight-or-flight response. By consistently posing these questions, you keep your brain active, fostering creativity and paving the way for innovative solutions. Repetition is key. Transform your small question into a habit, embedding it into your daily routine. Whether it's part of your morning coffee ritual or a visible reminder on your desk, the act of repeatedly asking small questions initiates a subtle yet profound reprogramming of your brain. This process occurs almost unnoticed, as you take gradual steps toward real and lasting change. So, embrace the simplicity of small questions, ask them persistently, and witness the subtle revolution happening within your own mind. It's a radical yet gentle way to navigate the complexities of change, proving that even the smallest queries can lead to transformative outcomes. 3. Rehearse in your imagination. In Chapter 3 of Dr. Robert Moore's insightful book, we delve into a remarkable technique for harnessing the power of imagination, the mind sculpture technique. This innovative approach, developed by psychologist Ian Robertson, offers a unique way to mentally rehearse for future activities tapping into the transformative potential of our own creativity. Despite its abstract nature, mind sculpture is a simple yet powerful tool. It revolves around using your imagination to vividly rehearse future activities. The technique involves mentally envisioning yourself in a specific situation, detailing every aspect to create a comprehensive mental image. Michael Phelps, the legendary swimmer, employed mind sculpture, four, take small steps. In Chapter 4 of Dr. Robert Mora's insightful book, we explore a fundamental principle, the importance of making your first step as small as possible when initiating change. Let's delve into this key idea and understand why embracing minimalism in our initial actions can lead to sustainable and significant transformations. Having explored small questions, small thoughts, and small steps thus far, you might be curious about the actual magnitude of small in Mora's philosophy. The answer, make each step as small as possible, especially when embarking on the journey of change. To illustrate this concept, Dr. Maurer shares the story of Julie, a stressed-out single mother who struggled with weight and lacked time for exercise. The advice given to Julie was unconventional, not a call for jogging or drastic lifestyle changes, but a suggestion to exercise for just one minute a day by marching in front of the TV. This seemingly minimal step was not only doable for Julie, but also sustainable, allowing her to gradually build up her exercise habit. Surprisingly, this led to faster progress, and within a few months, Julie was engaging in proper aerobics workouts. Maurer emphasizes the counterintuitive nature of this approach, that starting with the smallest possible step leads to faster and more sustainable change. The principle challenges the notion that significant progress requires significant initial efforts. 
Even if progress seems slow at times, the key is to recognize that slow change is far better than no change. Another compelling example is shared, highlighting a woman's journey to cut down on sugar in her tea. Struggling to give up that last teaspoon, she approached it in a meticulous way, removing one grain at a time. It took a year for her to eliminate all the sugar grains, but the gradual approach proved successful and sustainable. When deciding on your first step, Maurer encourages embracing the idea that it's okay to make it really small. Whether spending just one minute on an activity or taking it one tiny step at a time, the key is to initiate change with minimal effort. So, as you embark on your transformative journey, remember the profound impact of making your first step as small as possible. It's a gentle yet effective strategy that aligns with the Kaizen philosophy, proving that the tiniest actions can lead to enduring and positive changes. Next. 5. Start with small problems. Chapter 5 of Dr. Robert Mora's Enlightening Book introduces us to a valuable principle, focusing on small problems first and being vigilant for early warning signs. Let's delve into this key idea and understand the transformative impact of addressing minor issues as a proactive strategy. As you embrace the habit of thinking small, Maurer advises applying the same approach to problem solving. Rather than feeling overwhelmed by the enormity of a challenge, start by tackling small problems. This strategy not only simplifies the process, but also sets the stage for significant positive changes. The example of William Bratton, the former New York City police commissioner, illustrates the effectiveness of this approach. Faced with rampant subway crime in the 1980s, Bratton shifted the focus from major interventions, like budget increases or deploying more officers, to addressing petty crimes such as public urination and turnstile jumping. Surprisingly, this targeted intervention resulted in a dramatic 50% decrease in major crimes on the New York subway in just over two years. The lesson derived from Bratton's experience is clear, when confronting a crisis, prioritizing small, manageable problems can yield remarkable results. This approach is not only more feasible, but also holds the potential to uncover underlying issues. For instance, Individuals caught for minor offenses on the subway were often linked to more serious criminal activities. Maurer encourages applying this principle to personal life as well. When facing challenges, be it in health, relationships, or other aspects, pay attention to small problems. Early warning signs, whether in the form of persistent pain during exercise or red flags in new relationships, should not be ignored. These small issues can serve as indicators of larger, potentially more serious problems. While it's not necessary to worry about every minor detail, the wisdom lies in addressing small problems while they are still manageable. By doing so, you can potentially save yourself from significant trouble in the future. Whether it's your well-being, relationships, or daily challenges, the Kaizen-inspired strategy of focusing on small problems proves to be a proactive and effective approach. So, as you navigate through life, pay attention to the small problems, address them early, and set the stage for a smoother and more successful journey. It's a practical philosophy that aligns with the principles of Kaizen, emphasizing the impact of incremental improvements on overall well-being. Onwards. 6. Small Rewards Chapter 6 of Dr. Robert Mora's insightful book sheds light on a surprising concept the effectiveness of small rewards compared to their larger counterparts. Let's explore this key idea and understand how embracing the philosophy of small rewards can enhance motivation, creativity, and overall well-being. While the emphasis on addressing small problems may seem intuitive, the idea of small rewards might challenge conventional thinking. Maurer draws attention to the success of employee suggestion programs, showcasing a stark contrast between U.S. and Japanese companies. In the U.S., where employees are offered significant prizes averaging $450, participation rates are low, and most suggestions are rejected. In Japan, where the average prize value is less than $4, about 75% of employees participate, and the majority of suggestions are adopted. The key lies in the motivational power of small rewards. Maurer points out a crucial aspect, big rewards often create pressure. The desire to win a substantial prize can make individuals feel compelled to come up with remarkable ideas, inducing stress and stifling creativity. 
On the other hand, small rewards foster a more relaxed and creative environment, allowing individuals to enjoy the task itself without being overwhelmed by the end goal. Japanese companies, exemplified by Toyota, have embraced the philosophy that small rewards are more motivating. Instead of expensive cars or watches, the best employee suggestion at Toyota is rewarded with a humble fountain pen. This shift in reward strategy has led to higher participation and better suggestions. The concept of small rewards extends beyond the workplace and can significantly impact personal lives. Maurer shares the story of Jack, a businessman with rheumatoid arthritis. Jack, facing the challenge of getting out of bed each morning, adopted the strategy of small steps and small rewards. After accomplishing each task, he rewarded himself with a compliment or a chat with gym staff. This approach, moment by moment, one small reward after another, allowed Jack to remain mobile and active despite his health condition. Whether it's a square of chocolate, an extra five minutes in front of the TV, or a simple mental pat on the back, small rewards can be powerful motivators. This approach aligns with the philosophy of Kaizen, emphasizing the impact of incremental improvements on overall well-being. So, if you find yourself in need of extra motivation, consider incorporating small rewards into your routine. The simplicity of these rewards can unlock creativity, reduce pressure, and create a sense of joy and accomplishment in your daily endeavors. Next. 7. Appreciate the small things in life. In Chapter 7, Dr. Robert Maurer encourages us to extend the Kaizen mindset beyond personal development and problem-solving, emphasizing its transformative impact on relationships. Let's explore this key idea and discover how appreciating the little things in life and paying attention to small moments can strengthen and sustain meaningful connections. Maurer invites us to apply the Kaizen philosophy to relationships, recognizing that these connections are essentially a series of small moments. While significant events like special gifts or memorable vacations capture our attention, it's the everyday, seemingly trivial interactions that can shape the foundation of a relationship. The renowned psychology professor John Gottman conducted a comprehensive study of couples, delving into their daily routines and interactions. Astonishingly, he could predict the future success or failure of a relationship with 93% accuracy. The key predictors of relationship success as identified by Gottman, often revolved around the little things, small gestures of positive attention. These gestures can be so subtle that they might go unnoticed. Simple acts like putting down the phone when your partner enters the room or asking about their day contribute significantly to relationship strength. Maurer emphasizes the transformative potential of these small moments, underscoring their ability to fortify connections and contribute to lasting relationships. The call is to be mindful of these moments in your relationships, whether romantic or otherwise. Express appreciation for the little things through both words and gestures. Compliment your partner, express gratitude to colleagues, and extend kindness to strangers. Even simple acts like being considerate on the road can contribute to a positive environment. Kaizen, as a philosophy of continuous improvement, reminds us that this approach is not a one-time effort, but a consistent, day-to-day -day practice. Persistence and patience are key, and the focus should be on enjoying the journey rather than fixating on the destination. So, as you navigate the intricate web of relationships, embrace the Kaizen mindset. Recognize and celebrate the small moments, express appreciation, and foster positive connections. It's a gentle yet profound way to strengthen relationships, emphasizing the transformative power of small, continuous improvements in the fabric of our daily interactions. One small step can change your life review. The crucial takeaway is, change need not be a hard journey. Employ techniques inspired by Kaizen, such as asking small questions and engaging in mind sculpture, adopting a slow and gradual approach. Over time, the principles of Kaizen can pave the way for a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling life. This is no minor achievement. Here's a practical tip, combat negative thoughts with positive questions. Many individuals, including Morris clients, grapple with negative self-talk like I'm not good enough or why can't I achieve my fitness goals. To counter this, Maurer recommends a consistent practice of posing simple, positive questions, like what's one thing I've accomplished today?
If you find yourself wrestling with negativity, consider asking yourself a positive question daily and recording the answer in a journal. Through repetition, you contribute to the rewiring of your brain, redirecting its focus toward the positive aspects of your life, a transformative endeavor worth undertaking. One small step can change your life quotes. Robert Maurer quotes, small things with great love. It is not how much we do, but how much love we put into the doing. And it is not how much we give, but how much love we put into the giving. To God, there is nothing small. One of the study's major findings was that in the successful relationships, positive attention outweighed negative on a daily basis by a factor of 5 to 1. This positive attention wasn't about dramatic actions like throwing over-the-top birthday parties or purchasing a dream home. It took the form of small gestures, such as using a pleased tone of voice when receiving a phone call from the partner, as opposed to an exasperated tone or a rushed pace that implied the partner's call was interrupting important tasks inquiring about dentist appointments or other details of the other person's day putting down the remote control, newspaper, or telephone when the other partner walked through the door arriving home at the promised time, or at least calling if there was a delay, these small moments turned out to be more predictive of a loving, trusting relationship than were the more innovative steps of romantic vacations and expensive presents. Possibly, that's because small moments provide consistent tending and nurturing. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. Albert Einstein, one of the most powerful ways to program your brain is the Kaizen technique of asking small questions. When you improve a little each day, eventually big things occur. When you improve conditioning a little each day, eventually, you have a big improvement in conditioning. Not tomorrow, not the next day, but eventually, a big gain is made. Don't look for the big, quick improvement. Seek the small improvement, one day at a time. That's the only way it happens, and when it happens, it lasts. John Wooden, one of the most successful coaches in the history of college basketball, when life gets scary and difficult, we tend to look for solutions in places where it is easy or at least familiar to do so, and not in the dark, uncomfortable places where real solutions might lie. Fear is normal, and a natural sign of ambition. Psychological research clearly shows that people who feel underappreciated tend to resent criticism and ignore the advice they're given. What shapes our lives are the questions we ask, refuse to ask, or never think to ask. Sam Keen, once you've experienced the joy of taking the first step, you can decide whether it's appropriate to take another. You'll know you're ready when your current step becomes automatic, effortless, and even pleasurable. But don't let anyone pressure you. If you ever feel yourself dreading the activity or making excuses for not performing it, it's time to cut back on the size of the step.